Charles Koch Arena was originally constructed in 1955 and known as Levitt Arena before the Roundhouse Renaissance which began in 2001. This renovation was premiered in 2003 and 2004 and was renamed to Charles Koch Arena in order to recognize the largest gift given to any university which totaled six million dollars by Charles Koch and Koch Industries. Charles Koch Arena is home to the Wichita State Shockers men's and women's basketball team and women's volleyball team and is known around the Missouri Valley Conference as the ultimate home advantage due to its passionate fans that skyrocketed to the top of attendance numbers. Charles Cook Arena is also home to the entire athletic department staff within its three floors. Now located here on the first floor of Charles Cook Arena is the Champions Club. The Champions Club is the most luxurious and exclusive room within Charles Cook Arena. In order to have access to this room, you need to be a donor or a booster of Wichita State Athletics. Come check it out, guys. The room is used on game days for pre-game and post-game meals for the sport playing that day. Donors and boosters may access the Champions Club before the game, at halftime, and after the game. The Champions Club also helps generate extra income for Shocker Athletics when it's contracted out to third parties. Events hosted in here can be weddings, speaking engagements, birthdays, graduation parties. It's fully equipped with a bar and can accommodate approximately 200 people. Also located on the first floor here of Charles Cook Arena is the Wichita State Athletics Recruiting Room. This room is used by all athletics teams and coaches and gives them an area to showcase and introduce what Wichita State has to offer. The one-on-one -on -one relationships built in this room lay the foundation for success here in Shocker Athletics. Just a short walk down the hall is the Aetna Multipurpose Center. This 15,000 square foot practice facility has two full-size basketball courts and three full-size volleyball courts. On a day-to-day -day basis, this gym has a rotating practice schedule that consists of men's basketball, women's basketball, and volleyball. When it's not being used by Shocker Athletic teams, it's used to host large events of up to a thousand people, such as the Greg Marshall Auction, Rockin' a Roundhouse, First Pitch Banquet, Volleyball 101, and the WSU Foundation Dinner. Much like the Champions Club, this space can be rented to generate extra income from third parties. After countless hours of hard work in the practice gym lands you here. Here's the south tunnel that leads to Devlin Court. This is the last area where the players meet before entering the court of the game day. Here we have the main floor of Devlin Court, which is named after Tom and Myra Devlin, who donated 2.5 million for the naming rights of this court. This court is a hardwood, spring-loaded maple wood floor court. Wrapped around this floor are approximately 10,500 seats that give the arena its patent bowl setting, which warranted the roundhouse nickname. This arena is fully equipped with ADA seating on the east and west side of the arena in section 121 and section 108. Sections 117 and 116 is known as the student section. Students are allowed one ticket per game. Tickets can be purchased at the ticket office located on the south side of the concourse. Located at the top of the rafters are all the conference and NCAA banners, plus the basketball legends that have played at Wichita State over the years. This facility can be also utilized for many different special events such as WSU commencement, KFDI concert, Kansas High School State basketball tournament. Various different music artists have also performed here. Also there has been many NBA exhibition games and WNBA games. Located right above us is a 12 foot high and 15 foot wide LED video board with four screens that everyone can see around the arena. The installation of this video board was included in the Renaissance project. 2013 the board was reconstructed into a 1.8 million dollar high definition board. Before leaving Coke Arena, make sure to check out the brand new Shocker Sports Hall of Fame located in the West Concourse. 
This state-of-the-art interactive design allows fans and families to dive into Shocker Sports history and learn about athletes in the past, as well as all the information about our facilities located on Wichita State's campus. This strength and conditioning room is used by all WSU athletes. It prepares them for competition with high endurance and weightlifting training with some of the best strength and conditioning coaches in the country. The athletes also have use to this room to help them with cardiovascular exercises on treadmills and bikes. Here located right down the hall from the south tunnel we have the men's basketball locker room. This is a restricted area on game days and can only be accessed by coaches, players and managers. Located right across from the men's locker room is the women's basketball locker room. This locker room was recently renovated after Wichita State consecutively won two straight Missouri Valley Conference championships. Next door to the women's basketball locker room is the women's volleyball locker room. This locker room was also renovated in 2015 before the fall season started. Here we have Bridget Gordon, one of our women's basketball assistant coaches. Bridget has traveled the world as a player and coach getting to experience countless facilities and crowds. Now here in her sixth season at Wichita State, what would you say sets Charles Coke Arena apart from the rest, Bridget? Uh, I would just like to say the fan support here, the, just the community. Uh, Wichita is a um, college town, and um, Coke Arena is, is one of the nicest facilities that I've been around here. Uh, coming from Tennessee, it's been very impressive. I would even rank Coke Arena back when I was there, which, uh, excuse me, at, um, Tennessee is a, a top facility, locker rooms, um, I mean, everything. The, Academic center, the offices, everything is just right here up under one roof makes it very convenient for our student athletes. So that's also another plus for us in the recruiting process with Coke Arena. But just the shape of it, the roundhouse, the, the loudness of it, um, and the fans can get very rowdy. So it's a, it's a great atmosphere. And uh, during your tenure here at Wichita State, what is the most memorable moment you've had? Oh wow, I've had several. Um, memorable moments here, um, going back to 3P cutting down the nets for uh, three uh, tournament and conference championships. Um, I remember um, the 34 and 1, we had game day here. Our student athletes was able to experience game day, so that was very exciting. And then, you know, here in my six years, it's always great when we sell out on kids day. I think my ears are still ringing the next three days after having kids day and we try to you know prepare them for an atmosphere that you just can't prepare for but I would say those are some of the memorable moments that I've had here at Wichita State. Here we have it from Bridget Gordon. Charles Coke Arena is the place to be. Next time you're in Wichita come check out a basketball game. So Mike tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do here. Uh, I'm in my uh, my fifth fifth year as a full-time employee here. Um, the title is uh, Director of Facilities and Operations. Um, basically it's uh, kind of a two-headed two -headed monster that I deal with. Uh, the first side of it is um, uh, more the event management side. Um, so I oversee all of our part-time event staff that we bring in for games. Um, I oversee the, uh, the rentals um, of all of our athletic facilities um, as well as uh, manage all of our um, in-house um, WSU uh, sporting events as well. Uh, the second part of my job, second big part of my job is uh, um, the facility maintenance. Um, I oversee um, the, the maintenance on our five athletic facilities. I um, have two assistant directors that uh, I work with um, that oversee our, th those five buildings. And tell me um, a little bit about um, Charles Coke Arena in general. Um, you know, give me some good points on it. Um, why is it a really good facility, and what does it bring to the community? Kind of. Yeah, Coke Arena was renovated uh, fairly recently, uh, 2003, uh, when it went, underwent a huge renovation. Um, essentially, essentially made it a, a new building for the most part. Um, seats 10,500 people. Um, we sell it out for all of our men's basketball games. It's a, it's a really good, 
it's a really good college basketball environment. Um, it's a lot of fun to work, work around. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good building.